Hello, Geometry. Um, I'm going to do 10.1, Reflections. I'm going to do this. Um, and I don't think I have to work any homework problems because this is basically just drawing things. Today, the first thing we're doing is reflections. Now, reflections sound like reflection. If I'm looking in the mirror, I have, and my reflection is in there, but it's opposite looking than what it's really opposite. When we look in the mirror, we don't see our face. We don't see our face how other people see our faces. We see our faces switched. That's an interesting subject. But anyway, how to draw a reflection. All you have to do is if you're asked to reflect something over a line, because you're going to be asked to reflect over a line. It could be the x-axis, it could be the y-axis, it could be a certain line that's drawn. So um, that line that you're reflecting it over is basically called the axis of symmetry. What it, axis of symmetry is, is when something is the same on this side and reflected that side. So take a look here. What you do to draw something is you measure how far M is, make it straight, straight across, and then do the same thing over there and put a little dot and label it M prime. Okay, so this one is exactly reflected. Pretend M is looking in the mirror and it's seeing M prime. Then you do the same thing with L. Draw a line straight across, measure how far L is from that line, and flip it over there and draw L prime, okay? Then you do the same thing. You might wanna, with a pencil, draw a line across, measure how far N is from that, and reflect it over, and write N prime. And then just connect them, and it will be reflected over that line. So when you're asked on your homework to draw reflections, if it's a single point, just reflect the single point. So take a ruler and put it across perpendicular. See, this line has to be perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. Draw a line perpendicular that goes to that point and then measure how far it is and draw it in. And that way you can accurately reflect something. If you're asked to draw the line that it's reflected around, then you, of course, this is equidistant, then you go, well, if I draw a line straight across, right in the middle. If I draw a line straight across, right in the middle. So the line that it's reflect these two things, uh, cannot draw a straight line. The line that these two things are reflected around is equidistant from both, see? So if you're asked to draw the line, just go put a, something straight across so that it'll be perpendicular to the line you draw. So that's what a reflection is. Basically, the image of a reflected triangle is also congruent. So this will also be equal to this. This is equal to that. Of course, my drawing looked terrible, so it's not exactly it. But... <clears throat> This is the pre-image and this is the image. So those are terms that you're gonna see on this chapter. So have fun drawing. This whole chapter is a lot of drawing. I've got a stack of graph paper on my door, your fobs work. So if you can't get a hold of graph paper at your house and you want graph paper just to make things a little neater, just drop by the school, come in, grab some graph paper off of my door, which by the way is where all those chapter 11 tests are if you still haven't grabbed one and done it. Thank you.